Hi everyone, I'm Javert, a visual effects artist at FX Home. We're the company behind Vegas FX and Vegas Image, which are part of Vegas Post. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create this retro title design inside of Vegas FX. Of course, it doesn't have to end up being retro styled. A lot of the things that we're going to be looking at, like the font and the colors, can be customized to whatever kind of graphic you're wanting to make. Let's go ahead and get started. Inside Vegas FX, choose New Composite Shot. I'll make my project 1080p but it's up to you to determine what you need for your video. Let's start by creating the starry background. First, come to New Layer and select Plane. A plane is a solid block of color which can hold effects. I'll leave it as black and hit OK. Rename the layer to something that makes more sense. In the Effects panel under the Generate folder, find Fractal Noise and drag that onto the layer. Make sure you choose the regular fractal noise and not the 360 version, otherwise you'll see some distortion on the top and bottom. Now we need to edit the settings for this effect. I could do it down here in the timeline, but to give myself some more room I'll come over to the container in the top left and click this hamburger icon. Go to Add Panel, Controls, and select the background layer. You should see the fractal noise settings in this new controls panel. Under Preset, Select Star Field. In the Gradients and Fill section of the Effects panel, drag Color Gradient onto the same plane. It should be put under the Fractal Noise, which means it gets applied after. You can use either the handles in the viewer or the numbers under Start and Endpoint to position the gradient. For the colors, I'll choose blue for the bottom and pink for the top but you can choose whatever fits your scene. Increase the opacity to 100% and change the blend to overlay. The stars will now be the two colors you selected instead of white. Next up is the grid. In the media panel, drag new plane one down onto the timeline above the starry background. Back in the generate folder, drag the grid effect onto this plane. I'll set the border radius to 1 to make the lines thinner. Then change the color to pink. In the transform dropdown, lower the opacity so that the grid is more subtle. Now we'll create the sun and the triangle shapes. Drag in the plane from the media panel once again and rename it Sun. To make it easier to see, I'll add another color gradient effect, and set the colors to orange and red. With the layer selected, I'll double-click the Ellipse Mask tool to draw a perfectly centered mask. A mask cuts the layer into a specific shape. Change back to the Selection tool, and the handles will appear. I'll use these to make it into a smaller circle. To make it glow, I'll use what's called the Light Sword Ultra Glow Only effect. This is technically meant for lightsabers, but it works well here. Change the colors to match, then adjust the width and alpha properties for both the inner and outer glow parameters until you get something you like. Change the blend to Add to make it brighter. For the triangle, I'll again bring the plane into the timeline. Right-click the layer and set the blend to Screen. This gets rid of the dark areas and keeps the bright. Drag the Neon Path effect onto this layer. Nothing will happen because the effect works by reading masks on the layer. Select the Freehand Mask tool and click to draw a triangle. If I click off, you can see the neon path taking effect. In the controls for the neon path, set the start and end width to the same number. 
This is the thickness of the line. Similar to the sun, adjust the inner and outer glow settings until you get something you like. I'll change the color to pink and purple. Now we can start creating the title. Come over to New Layer and select Text, and then Type. Highlight it and come over to the text panel. For this, I'm using a font called Good Times, but you can choose whatever fits your video. Increase the font size and move it to be in the correct spot. To save some time, I'll just copy the color gradient effect that we used on the starry background and paste it onto the main title. Move the handles to align it correctly with the text. To add some texture, I'll again use the fractal noise effect. Drag it directly onto the text layer. In the controls panel, change the type to wood. Open the transform section and lower the scale of the noise. Now come down and set the blend to overlay. Adjust the exposure and offset until it looks good. As you can see, the fractal noise effect can be used for a wide variety of things, since it has numerous settings that can be customized. Next, I'll use an effect called Outer Glow to create an outline. Drop it onto the text layer and change the color to white. Raise both the opacity and spread all the way up, then adjust the size to your liking. Right-click and duplicate that effect. Lower the spread back to zero, then adjust the opacity and size to give it a softer glow. You can change the color if it helps fit the scene better. For the titles above and below the main word, I'll create two text layers, and similar to before, choose a font and resize it to fit. I can use the selection tool and the handles on screen to position the text where it should be. Onto this layer, add a drop shadow effect. These settings are up to you. For mine, I'll shift the angle to be in the bottom right, then increase the opacity and change the color to pink. I'll also lower the penumbra, which is how blurry it is, and adjust the distance. In the project file folder, you can find a PNG of a palm tree. You can either drag it directly into the media panel of Vegas FX, or select Import and choose it from there. Bring it down into the timeline under the triangle layer. With the layer selected, go into the controls panel to resize and position it. Once again, I'll use the color gradient effect. Make the bottom color pink and the top a dark orange brown. Change the blend to normal and increase the opacity to 100%. We can add some effects on top of everything to tie it all together and make it look a bit more vintage. Go to New Layer and select Grade. The effects that you put on grade layers affect everything below them. The first thing we'll add is the Scan Lines effect. In the Controls panel, I'll increase the frequency and sharpness to make the lines more subtle. You can change the direction the lines are going with the angle control. Next is the film grain effect. This helps add some texture if you zoom in. Lastly, a flicker effect can give the scene a bit more life. You can adjust the frequency, which is how often the flicker occurs, and the amplitude, which is how drastic the change is. If you're wanting to try this tutorial out for yourself, you can find a trial version of Vegas Post on the Magic's website. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed.